Well, he hasn't played a lot, just 11 games, but of all goaltenders to play at least 11 games, he's got the highest save percentage with the 927. So he's been really good when he has played. Record just a shade over 500. We need you to be good. I think the energy level from that group is specifically Kaprizov is evident. Johnson a shot. Saved by Gustafson, another rebound, left free, and Lekkonen makes him pay. Gustafson's left a couple in the slot on rebound opportunities. This time the Avs find the back of the net. Lekkonen puts Colorado in front, 1-0. Tarasi on the weak side, he tries to turn and kick, he just misses it. and That's a little too easy from the point shot, too. I think Wild Winger was picked, couldn't get out there. So Johnson able to just unload on this one and it catches the pad stick battle loss from Johansson there second chance from Lekkonen and he puts that one through the five. Merrill takes a long look and feeds Goligoski tipped in by Lucchini. Shaw in on the forecheck comes up with a puck and they score! A little confidence can go a long way as Vinny Letary with the last two goals the Minnesota Wild have scored. It's Mason Shaw on the forecheck. He turns this over and Colorado is susceptible in this. They get lost in their own zone right here. Plays behind the net and if you can get it to the slot quickly there is open ice. Shaw does that. He finds Letary to McKinnon. Avs power play sixth best in the league. This one's battled out of the air and they score. It doesn't take them long. No, and this Colorado power play lethal, but but it's had its struggles as of late without Val Nachushkin. A little different makeup, but they just win this faceoff. And again, it's a puck that gets through Gustafson. He's got eyes on it. It hits him in the equipment, and then he has a hard time tracking where it is. Pops up behind him. And a head-to-head -head meeting against the Kings still remaining on their schedule. Rantanen plays it across for McKinnon. A shot saved by Gustafson. Ruan sends it out to the line for Taves. Into the middle. McKinnon a drive and they score. It was tipped by Ruan out front. And the Avalanche extend the lead in the opening minute of this second period. Because he's got great vision, but... He finds a soft spot high up in the zone. He sees this looking nonchalantly sliding to the middle. Then he gets into a, a spot where he can just unload on a one-timer. And Boldy's trying to figure out, who do I cover here? The weak side D. And McKinnon takes the shot, but finds Drew in for the tip. Kaprizov a shot. That deflects to the corner. Boldy tries to keep it alive. Boldy on the half wall. Gets some pressure from Cogliano. Plays into the corner. Zuccarello. Kaprizov. Chisholm walks in a shot, they score! Declan Chisholm on the power play! And Minnesota's back within one. Doesn't kill, he's out on the ice and watch him, he's left side of your screen. He gets aggressive and he's drawn all the way down to the corner. As the winner, no reason you should be there. That leaves the ice open for Chisholm up top. He's able to get this pass from Kaprizov and then he can take his time, get his head up and look through the screen of Eriksson to that, that far side high glove. Eriksson trying to lose McCarr and instead he loses the puck and the Avs start back with Drouin. Drouin to McKinnon, scores! And watch, Erickson Eck has a step on McKinnon, and then it's boom, boom, two power strides, and, and he is just blown past Erickson Eck. He can't do anything about it. Faber trying to adjust, but he can't accept the speed of McKinnon, and Drouin just has to leave it through there, and a changeup from McKinnon. Goal scoring IQ through the roof. He sees Gustafson slot. Faber with it to Boldy. Out to the point, Zuccarello just gets there in time. Taves. Has it stripped away. Rossi tried to get it to Zuccarello. Ranton and has it. Fires at the empty net and scores. And Colorado puts this one away. It's 5-2 Avalanche. Avalanche just rim that one up the wall. Bounces right over Zuccarello's stick. That will fall to the Avalanche here in St. Paul. They'll remain eight points behind the Kings and the playoffs become
An incredible long shot. 